Ik zou voorstellen dat jij contact opneemt met Radio 2, om eens te kijken of de stormwind van vannacht ergens schade heeft veroorzaakt. Ik heb te veel gezien dat de amateur de storm is. Net binnen, natuurlijk. VRT is de Flemish public broadcast. Je kunt het met ARD in Germany of met de BBC in Britain. Well, VRT is de main uh, public broadcaster in uh, Belgium, in Flanders, which is the Dutch-speaking region of uh, Belgium. And we bring the news in, uh, and also other programs for the Dutch-speaking part of Belgium in, on the internet, for radio and for television. Het is 7 uur. Goedemorgen. Dit zijn de hoofdpunten. De vakbonden willen verschillende vestigingen van IKEA vandaag dicht houden. De Zuid-Afrikaanse zangeres en activiste Mirjam Makeba is overleden. Katrien van der Schoot. VRT News is active on many fronts. We have the television part, we have the radio part, we have the internet part. And uh, so we cover all aspects of journalism in one company. VRT has integrated three different newsrooms, television, radio and online, back two years ago. What were the main reasons behind it? Move? Well, we lived together, but very apart. We knew that we existed, but we didn't cooperate in the field. So it was necessary to bring these three compartments of news together on one floor so that we started talking to each other, so that we started cooperating in the field and in between editors. So it was necessary uh, in order not to um, miss some things in the news and in order to have better products. The, the, the aim was that we would better know from each other what we were busy with, what we were making, producing, and that we could learn from each other. So, for example, the, the news gathering, the um, finding new stories, eh, um, could be better organized if we would do it for all uh, media together. And, and I think that was the basic reason why, why we, we started up that process. I think the main reason behind it was efficiency, because before that, we used to do a lot of work separately, whilst uh, we could do it much better if we did it together. And uh, there were a lot of people doing the same work at the same time, in a way. So I think uh, the, the main reason behind it was efficiency. Well, I think people wanted to make it more efficient. Um, people were working on various islands, so the radio journalists were sitting in various places, not, not even all in, in the same place, the TV journalists the same. And the idea was to bring them together, to bring all the know-how together so that they could talk more easily face to face with one another, to make things more efficient, make things go quicker. Uh, I guess there was also a cost-cutting element in that as well. Yeah. Just the same amount of people are working as in the old days, but in, instead we, 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 we have a higher output now than two years ago. We have more programs, more, more broadcasts. I think what, what's happening now after a few years is that you do more with the same money. So it was not a question of, of uh, reducing the budget, it was a question of using the budget in a more efficient way. And, and I think, it, for me personally, as a journalist, it's a, better, it's a far better way of reasoning because our aim is making good programs, our aim is not making them at the lowest price possible. Well, that here on the forefront of uh, IKEA Gebouw is for the second time in uh, two weeks blocked. Uh, there is a stakingspiket and with uh, winkelkarretjes have they actually the access to the warehouse afgesloten. Ja, wat ik zeg, ik zeg het. Ik zeg het. Maar aan de achterkant komen de werkwerken eigenlijk binnen. Dus ik heb ook een paar interviews met mensen die wel willen werken. Ja, dat is een probleem. Respect voor de mensen. Betalingen, ik bedoel, uren, de uurroosters. Daar gaat het hem over. Heb je het gevoel dat de drie verschillende media werken meer close to each other now dan before? Oh, definitely, definitely. I mean, people meet face to face, talk, discuss, uh, generate new ideas, and uh, it improves the output as well. What we're doing, the quality of it. I think the different media are working more closely together because you group a lot of people who work on the same theme. They are sitting physically together and they know of each other what they are doing and they can uh, tell each other, well, you, fo you phone that person, I phone that person. So they are working better together, yes. There was sort of an earthquake in the organization. It was a culture shock for many people. But gradually people started talking to each other 
and started cooperating. And after two years, I might say that it is uh, bearing fruit, so that it is, starts giving results in the field. Well, now, in a phase where we're gathering the information, we're working closely together, and it can be that it's just one journalist gathering all the information, but after that, when we produce all the different items, there normally will be one journalist doing it for the radio, one journalist for TV, and one journalist for online. There is still a difference between radio journalists and television journalists and online journalists. Uh, me, myself, from time to time, uh, especially when I'm abroad, I can produce something for the radio or I can write something for, uh, for online. That's true, but not on a daily basis because uh, it's not possible um, simply in, in producing. You cannot make a good television story and at the same moment make a good radio story. It's not physically possible, I think. First of all, we don't have all the training to work for the different media. But secondly, it's a lot of work because uh, for a TV item you have to go outside, you have to go interview people, and you, while you're doing that you cannot work for the radio or for, for online. So you have to have different people doing different things for different media. Everybody has his or her own ability and we still use that in the field. It's not that uh, one journalist uh, carries and a camera and a radio recording device and starts to write an article for the internet uh, department. That's not the case, but it is possible if you are in the field, let's say uh, abroad, that you do things for different media. You talk to the radio program, you make a report for the television news, and you write an article for the internet. That's possible. What about that idea of one journalist with, for instance, a handicap doing a report as well for radio as for television as, and writing a report for, for online as well? Well, we, we have a tradition of uh, bearing in mind quality. So, in order to keep that quality, you cannot give all that work to one person. Goedemorgen. Uh, we gaan waarschijnlijk beginnen met een sociaal hoofdstuk. Bij IKEA wordt er alweer gestaakt en daarna de staking bij Carrefour. Sorry. Ik weet u aan Bert. Deze is heb ik in bij net aan brieven. Ik bel u direct. Ja. Dat was vergadering. <laughs> I've always been a part of it. One of the disadvantages could be, if you are not very well aware of it, that we are at a certain moment uh, producing all the same. And that the same television story will appear on the radio, will appear on online. The possible danger of working too closely together is that you all make the same thing. That you don't have a variety in the quality of your product. That could be a disadvantage. But as we are a group of very creative person, persons, it is possible to still have the own focus in the respective programs. Makeba. That makes sense. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a um, advantages, the thing that everything goes more quickly, more efficiently, uh, that you can ha you have direct access to people. Disadvantages, uh, perhaps that we're stuck in a ghetto a bit. That uh, especially for online people who are, who are stuck inside most of the time, um, you're busy with your computer. There's there's little contact outside. Um, you only mix with other journalists, and that person, I feel, that's uh, somewhat of a disadvantage. The main advantage of being on the same floor is seeing each other hearing each other, hearing each other's initiatives and being able to talk to each other and maybe cooperate. That's the main advantage. For the output of the VRT, for what we put on the TV, for what we put on the radio, for what we put on our websites, it's been a big improvement.